So, let's talk that bleach. Let's talk that chapter 669. God damn. God damn. God damn. I was just so hyped to make a video on this because I read it before I went to work, but of course there was no time to make the video. You know, I'm not a morning person by any stretch of the word. So, there's reasons for that. But, <laughs> I gotta say, this chapter had me hyped. I was feeling it. I was fucking feeling it. The Ken Pachi Bon Kai is pretty fucking good. I got it. Was not. I did not expect this. I did not expect this. I don't know what the fuck it means that his skin turns red, but I guess what does that mean? He's like a demon or something. But it's sick. It looks fucking sick. Like it is a legitimately good design. I'd like to see anybody front on this shit. I'd seriously doubt anybody would though. But goddamn, this is hype. I'm hyped right now. I'm feeling it. I don't know what the general response is to this fucking chapter, and quite frankly, I don't really give a shit because usually Bleach reviews like suck for me. I don't really like hearing people talk and bitch about it. But I gotta fucking say, this chapter must be loved. I don't know, but I'm assuming it is. And it's just so funny. Because a certain YouTuber, I'm not going to say his name, the other week he was saying Ken Pachi couldn't fight for whatever godforsaken reason. This this guy, he was saying it. He was saying, oh, you know, Ken Pachi's crusty. He can't fight. This is what my boys was telling me. But I wonder what he must be thinking while she's reading this chapter, still trying to front. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he ripped the miracle's arm off with just his jaw alone. Nobody in my favorite manga could do that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure <laughs> god damn can't punch you can't fight huh also i love how the gen how the miracles like uh, dialogue at the point where Ken, right at the point after Kenpachi releases his Bankai, he's pretty, he's like disappointed. He's like, he's shit talking it. This, <laughs> he sounds just like an anime community reviewer. Oh, well, this is just disappointing, Kenpachi. You're nothing but fodder. You know that buzzword that fucking anime community nerds love to use all the time? You know, oh, fodder. He even says that in the chapter. But you know, I'm pretty hyped. I mean, the, the so the Yachiru reveal was pretty interesting, and now that pretty much like opens up a, like a lot of what possibilities of what the explanation is for uh, Ken Pachi. Like, what the fuck is he? Because he's obviously not a normal Shinigami by any standard, and I'm pretty sure this is the only Bankai we've seen that changes your physical appearance to that extent, where you like you know your skin goes red. And I don't think there's many Bankais that really change physical appearances. But anyway. I've been liking how Kubo's been giving us Bankai after Bankai after Bankai. These are... Urahara, uh, Chiraku, and Kenpachi are all Bankais, you know, people have been waiting for years to see. So, I, I mean, it's exciting to me because, you know, this manga's been going on for a long time and everybody's been always been wondering what these Bankais are. And here they are, one after the other. After each fight, we get a new Bankai we didn't know, we didn't see before. I like that. And, you know, it's good that he waited until the end to show a lot of these because... I mean, if he just showed us this shit before, I mean, it wouldn't be as exciting. But, you know, this is this is brand new stuff nobody's ever seen before. So it's really it's really exciting re seeing this shit. I really like this chapter. Um, I've liked the last few chapters, too. Like, every now and then, Bleach gets, like, a little slow for me. But I still really like the chapters, and um, I don't really bitch about it because I know, like, not every chapter is going to fucking blow my mind. But I've really I've still enjoyed it up to this point recently. I thought Urahara's Bankai was unique. I, li I, re I really liked Kyoraku's Bankai. It was actually better than what I thought it would be. I mean, I expected it to be good, but that was pretty fucking good. I heard people were disappointed about that. Don't really get that. Don't really fucking care. I don't really understand how, but fuck it. And now Ken Pachi's Bankai is really cool. And I mean, I wouldn't have expected his Bankai to turn him into a demon or whatever the fuck it did. So this chapter was pretty fucking good. I liked it. Solid chapter. Another solid chapter by Kubo. And I know it's been a long time since I did a Bleach review and I had the itch. This chapter just gave me the itch. I was like, all right, you dumbass. You missed the fucking Urahara Bankai reveal. You missed the um, the, the uh, fucking... God damn it, I always mess his name up. Kiraku. Uh, reveal? Are you are you really gonna miss the fucking Ken Pachi reveal? Really, motherfucker? So, as I said, this chapter was sick. I mean, the miracle was cut in half. Obviously, this didn't kill him. I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna like, you know, grow even bigger or something. Since you know he has to counter a transformation with his transformation. It's a typical Bleach formula. So, 
looking forward to next week, and I'll just make another review next week, I guess, and I'll make some more videos this week. I've got the itch, man. I got the itch for these videos. I know I don't always get that itch, but recently I've been getting that itch. But for now, I got to go back inside and play Trails of Cold Steel because I just started that fucking game. Got to get further in it. You know how it is.